Lady Thor? We've entered a massive arms race against AIM. Luckily for you, I'm a flying sports car with high penetrating repulsors. Come on, best two out of three? You getting beat soundly by two Thors wasn't enough? You have an unfair advantage. You're practically twins. Oh, God. oh, please don't call my alternate universe ex-boyfriend my twin. Ugh. Feels gross. Hey, Jane. I've seen AIM do a lot of bad things for good reason. We can't lose our way trying to save the world. It's not worth it. I am ashamed to admit it. But I cannot stop thinking about that season finale. Right? That reveal with the twin brother? Oh, this came out of nowhere. Yeah, it makes no logical sense. It's, it's objectively bad. Oh, but I need to know what happens next. Uh, I said it was my favorite show. Didn't say it was a good one. Hulk seems remarkably at ease on the Chimera. Perhaps his time here has, you know, alleviated his fear of flying. Hey, Jane. I don't usually stick around this long. Guess the Chimera's growing on me. I just got a new dark roast in the kitchen. Guatemalan. Apparently it has notes of honey and apple in it. Well, it sounded good. I'll be sure to try it out. Oh, just keep it hidden from Tony. I want this stuff to actually last. Hey, you kept the bracelet I gave you. Of course. It was a gift. I thought you might think it was dumb or something. <laughs> Kamala, nothing you do is dumb. Hey, so Thor doesn't let me use him to <laughs> recharge my phone. No. I didn't even finish asking my question. I know how you think, Stark, and the answer is still no. Zawavari told me to tell you hello, and that he would like to speak with you soon. I feel like I'm in trouble. I think he just prefers your company over the other Thor. I hear you've been fully recruited into the prank war. No, I wouldn't say recruited. Oh, no? <laughs> Kamala is the best of us, and I find Stark insufferable. The choice was easy. Hi, Thor! Life can be scary and awesome at the same time, right? Is this what adults go through? It's weird. Would you mind if I put you down as an emergency contact? I would be honored. I put Cap at first, but I'm pretty sure he leaves his phone in his room at all times. Oh, guess this means I need a cell phone that works in this timeline. Hey, Doc. Ugh, I'm starving. Could definitely go for some food right about now. Just not pizza. The place Shield orders from is kind of terrible. Was it weird for you to reveal your identity after hiding it for so long? A little. The hardest part was getting used to talking like myself again. But I think mostly it was freeing. Huh. You looking to do the same? W me? Nope. Got a lot riding on that secret identity. My lips remain sealed. You doing okay? You've been in the harm room more than usual. Oh, just trying to get out of my head a bit. I tend to wallow. If you need a distraction, I could teach you how to throw cards. Help me deal with my insomnia. I, I might take you up on that. How did people react when you became Thor? Every time I hear the girl Hawkeye, I want to punch a wall. Oh, I got plenty of that. Especially from the gods. What did you do? I decapitated Loki with my hammer. It was an illusion, but I think I made my point all the same. I decapitated Loki with my hammer. It was an illusion, but I think I made my point all the same. Hey, have you seen my boomerang arrow? And your face says no. Okay, I'll uh, I'll keep looking. You become Thor when you use the hammer, right? Correct. Does that mean are you and Thor both anime magical girls? <laughs> yes, and please tell Odinson this immediately. 
When all this stuff with AIM is done, you think I can still hang around? Unless it's a bother. I just mean... I've got that Mansions and Manticores campaign I've been working on. That's all. <laughs> if anything changes. I like it up here. Far from the crowded world below. From being pulled in all those directions. I'm grateful you all have accepted me so easily. It must be hard to trust a multiversal anomaly. <laughs> so, thank you for being patient. Miss Cho has a piece of... fan art of me on her desk. Should I offer her my autograph? Or would that be too strange? I find myself slipping back into the voice every now and then. I suppose you can't take up the mantle of Thor without adding some... theatricality. It's hard to sleep on the helicarrier. Everything is too familiar and not all at the same time. But at least the insomnia gives me time to watch the stars. Well, the harm room has been incredibly useful. Particularly at night, when I can't turn my mind off. I can feel Mjolnir reaching for Asgard. At least in this universe, there is an Asgard to reach for. Your Dr. Foster continues to show a clean bill of health. Good. That's... good. I'm surprised that snake Loki has not shown his face. He was all too eager to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me in my timeline. Oh, perhaps this one is more of a coward than most. The other Dr. Foster is keeping me updated on her research into what might have caused my presence. So far, nothing. But I'm sure we'll find something soon. Is he just as annoying in your universe as this one? Who? Uh, your brother? Stark. <laughs> yes. So, um, you and... and the other me. We didn't last long after A-Day. Ah, because he was a coward. And because the Allfather always disproved. I wasn't good enough for his son. Bastard. <laughs> Well, he, he got what was coming to him eventually. Have you noticed any larger differences in our timelines? Besides the obvious. So many. Uh, for one, your dog isn't in this one. Uh, I have a dog? His name is Thori. <laughs> because you are terrible at names. <sighs> I love dogs. Hello, Thor. Can we get back to battle soon? Mjolnir is becoming restless. 